In addition to the many different ways to display fonts in Excel, you also have a variety of border options and color background choices to accentuate your data. And both of these features are found on the Home tab in adjacent buttons. Here's a Borders button right here, and just to the right of it, the Fill Color bucket. I want to border around these cells. They're the only cells within this worksheet that are pure numbers. I want the data to stand out just with the border around it. Clicking the drop arrow on the right side of the Borders button reveals all kinds of choices. How about thick outside borders? Now, many times when you apply a Borders feature, you're not quite sure if it worked until you click outside of the highlighted area. Well, we've got a border there. In other words, you just can't see it as clearly while it's highlighted. I'll come back here and maybe try a few others. We could put a border on every single cell. How about all borders? It has that look. And there's one other approach to this too. Cells are highlighted, we'll come back again with border and consider the very bottom, more borders. And maybe we want to use color here as well. So how about color for starters here? We use a dark red and maybe a certain line type. How about a dash line? And then as we apply it to the grid to the right, we could choose outline first. You see the red dashed outline. How about the inside of the cells as well too? So we're getting a preview ahead of time. And there's some unusual choices here like diagonal lines, which I think you wouldn't need to use very often. Let's click OK. And now we've got that effect. Another approach to borders is with these cells highlighted, let's say you wanted those to stand out in a certain way. Here's that drop arrow. This time we could draw border. We could draw a border around the perimeter or you saw the other choice there, draw a border grid. And we could have chosen color before this, I didn't, but we could draw the grid that way too. So multiple ways of putting in borders in the example here. Now, color backgrounds, an easy choice, and sometimes people go overboard with this. We might want these cells to stand out in addition to the border or without the border either way. Here's the fill color bucket. If the color that's there that's visible is the one you use, just click the bucket. There it is, it's yellow. If you use another color, you want to be sure that it's fairly light so that the text shows through. That's not so good there, and this is pretty bad. I think you can quickly see what's going on here. And if you just can't find that color you want, well, come back again and go into more colors and probably spend way too much time looking at this, 127 different choices. But if it's got to be a certain color, you could make that choice. And again, we tend to use these to make certain parts of a worksheet stand out, give it more emphasis, more pizzazz. Sometimes we say it that way. So a variety of different techniques here are using either border features and or color background, both located on the Home tab, to provide greater emphasis to our worksheets.